guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am bringing you an all drugstore makeup look so if you're interested on in how to get this look then keep on watch to start off i will be using my milani prime light and i will be applying that all over my face for foundation i will be doing a mix of the l'oreal foundation one is the infallible pro glow and the other one is the infallible total coverage foundation and i will be mixing the two colors together to match my skin tone I am going to be blending my foundation with the Real Technique Beauty Sponge. For my concealer, I will be using the NYX Gacha Cover Concealer and I am going to list all the products I am using on this video down below. If you're looking for an affordable drugstore concealer that is full coverage, then I highly recommend this concealer, especially that it has an orange undertone so it's perfect for dark circles or any dark spots. And as always, to highlight, I will be using the Maybelline Instant H Rewind. And another all times favorite from the drugstore, my Dude to the Leche Contour Palette from Wet n Wild. I absolutely love this product, as you can see, and I will highly recommend it. It's only four dollars. I cannot live without this. And another favorite, I know, I know, so many favorites, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, and I will be applying that all over my face. This is also my go-to powder from the drugstore. And to contour my face and bronze up a little bit, I will be using the Wet n Wild color icon and again I will be listing all the products down below so don't forget to check that out. For blush I will be using the Wet n Wild color icon blush and this is in shade Apricot in the middle. And now the eyebrow, the fun part. So I will be using the NYX eyebrow pencil and this is in shade dark brown and I'm not a huge fan of this eye pencil but it does the work and I use it from time to time not really my favorite of all time <laughs> to prime my eyes for my eyeshadows I will be using the Milani eyeshadow primer for my eyes I will be using the L'Oreal LA palette in nude intense And just a little trick, if you ever want to intensify an eyeshadow shade or a highlight, spray it with a little bit of rose water or coconut water and you're going to love it. A more consistent shade. It looks brighter and it looks more intense. Now I am going to be taking this shade right here and applying it on my crease and I will be burning that as a windshield wipe motion back and forth until I get the look that I want. And the tricky part, the eyeliner. This is obviously optional if you feel comfortable, but I love a good wing eyeliner. I will be using the NYC eyeliner. This is my all-time favorites. Literally, this is my all-time favorites. And take your time if you're new at eyeliners. Definitely practice, practice, and practice. Take your time because that's what really works best when you're doing an eyeliner. Always a little bit of eyeliner or mascara always gets on my face makeup, but that's okay I always wait until it's dry so I can remove it for mascara We'll be using the Remo lash accelerator and I will, be I will be applying a few coats of mascara For my bottom lash line I will be using a detail brush and applying the darkest one of the darkest shade from the palette and kind of smoking it out a little bit I will follow up with a black eyeliner from pixels And this is also optional, but I will be applying my Ideal Wispies eyelashes. And again, take your time and practice, 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 because practice makes perfection. And let's not forget to apply mascara in our bottom lashes. For 
for my lips I will be using a combination of NYX lip pencil and this is in Peekaboo Neutral in the Milani Matte Naked lipstick. Last but not least, the highlight. This is my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite highlight from the drugstore. It was the first time and I fell in love. Look at that highlight. And to finish off, I will be applying some rose water and we are done. This is the final look. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you on my next video. Bye.